Uh, we're with Dylan Wilcox from the Old Forge Blue Devils here at our Cow and Janelle, the pizza capital of the world. Dylan, let's talk a little bit about the, the victory over Carbondale area. Um, well, you know, the whole week we were building up, we knew it was a big week. You know, an Old Forge team hasn't gone 0-2 in eight years. And I told the guys, this will not be the year that it happens. And I mean, it was a great team effort. All week was a great practice, great atmosphere, great attitude. And I really think we came to play Friday night. Talk about guys that stepped up in the game that you saw, maybe from week one to week two. Who are some guys that you felt, hey? Oh, Chris Masco. Chris Masco definitely stepped up at wide out position. Anthony Rios, sophomore, came out big, played big for us. Ian Hook ran the ball great. You know, it was just a great effort from our younger guys, and that's what we need. One of the biggest plays from Anthony may not have been some of the long runs he had. may have been when he went back and somehow found a way to get that fumble. I don't know how he did it. I was actually watching it. He actually grabbed it with one hand and pulled it back in. But that was just a heads-up play. You know, great great job not to panic. You know, he's a young player. You know, we've got a lot of young kids on the team, and I really hope that some of them stepping up will show everybody that just because you're young does not mean you can't step up and be a great player. You learned from some guys before you. You're a leader this year. Talk about guys that have kind of set the stage there for you. Well, I mean, it's a tradition here to be a winner, to be a good leader. Pick your teammates up. I learned from the best of them. You know, Shane going to Mississippi State, that's crazy. Joey Bruno, guys like that. Big boy. I mean, they really shaped me into the players I am. And last year, even Mike, Corey Soyavong, they, they all taught me how to be the player I am today. All right, Dylan. Well, hey, uh, this week, uh, let's talk about your matchup Friday night. Um, you know, we, we go into every week as if we're an underdog because we are. We do have so many young players. But I think that gives us a spark to play well, no matter what kind of situation we're in. Well, we wish you the best this week, and thanks for joining us, okay? Thank you. Let's continue the conversation. Matthew Evans, one of the guys from the Old Forge Blue Devils. And uh, Matthew, talk a little bit about that win over Carbondale area. Well, we came out, and uh, we, we knew what we had to do on our home field, home opener. Uh, we ran the ball well. We ran the ball very well. Our offensive line clogged him up, and uh, we just hit him in the mouth, and we, we did what, what four juicer does, you know? We ran the ball, our running backs did great. Go from week one to week two. What was the difference in this team? Well, for us, I know that uh, we tackled a lot better in week one. Week one, we struggled in that, and our line did a lot better, too. Uh, our running backs found the goals better. We ran harder, too. Matt, let's talk about this week's matchup. Uh, talk about who you guys are facing. Well, Montrose, uh, they have pretty good defense, we think, and their offense. We know that uh, it could be difficult to play your assignments on defense. you got to stay true, stay home. And uh, we got to do the same thing we did last week, run the ball, run hard, and I think we'll get the W. The balance between run and pass, and uh, I think Paul did a pretty good job, but it seemed to be only Matsko. Got to get some other guys involved there on the offensive end catching the ball, right? Yeah, Matsko had a great game, I thought. Great game for him. Him, Paul, Paul played exceptionally well. Uh, we have, I think we have some great young wideouts, so I feel like we can get them involved more. You know, our tight end, Levi Canyon, I feel like we can get him involved too. And if we, if we do that and we, we're nice and balanced, I don't see why we shouldn't win. What's it like? Look. Uh, bonding out with these guys here uh, tonight and, and being able to hang out with these guys and, and know that, hey, it's a small-knit group, but you guys are together all the time. Yeah, yeah, I love them. I'm not going to lie. They can, be, uh, they can be difficult sometimes to get along with, but at the end of the day, I know they're my teammates, and I know that at the end of the day, I'm playing for them and my town, and uh, I wouldn't want it any other way. Sounds just like family. You got your ups and downs, but nonetheless, you guys are, are trying to ride the high after a victory. Matthew, thank you so much. Thank you. Matthew Evans from the Old Forge Blue Devils as we continue the conversation here at our Carroll and Janelle's. All right, we're with Paul Cariotti, the quarterback here for the Old Forge Blue Devils. And, uh, Paul, great game from you uh, last week against Carbondale area. Talk about stepping up and uh, being able to get a win along with your teammates. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, well, we just had a nice long week uh, practice. We practiced real hard. and. Uh, we just really took it to them. Finding Matsko seemed to be the connection for you. Talk about that comfortableness you had, and, and again, some basic routes, but uh, it worked yeah. for you guys. Yeah, my boy Matsko, yeah, the, the outs were there all day. I mean, I could have just kept slinging it. How about uh, a guy like Moss? Uh, he'll go, he'll make plays all over the place wherever oh, yeah. you have him. Oh, yeah, Moses is an animal. He always does good every game. For you, uh, being able to try to be a leader this year, talk about all the things you've been through coming through ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade. Oh, God. Uh, well, ninth grade, I really didn't think where, I, where I'd be now, but uh, it's definitely quite the experience. i got to run the offense. 
for you overall? Talk about the, the feelings from week one to week two. Uh, trying to grow as a team and knowing you guys haven't lost two in a row, so it's just something you guys didn't want to be that team that did. Oh, yeah. Uh, week two, I mean, after we lost uh, to Hanover, we really, we really took the practice. We practiced real hard. And we were just not accepting a loss. You talk about uh, this week's matchup against Montrose. Uh, tell us about what you see out of them and what you guys hope to do. Well, I mean, I'm just going to attack the windows offensively, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to run the ball good. I'm running the back ball is what you guys like to do. Oh, yeah. How about those uh, young running backs and stepping up and making some plays, too? Oh, yeah. Anthony Rios and Ian Hook, they are definitely stepping up. Definitely stepping up. And as far as this year in single A, anything could happen. You guys will hope you're around uh, when the end shakes out, right? Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's move along to King Shakim Rose with the Old Forge Blue Devils. And uh, King, for you, talk a little bit about the, this win that you guys had over Carbondale area. Yeah, it was, um, it was a real good win for us. You know, after that loss to Hanover, you know, we really had to come together. And, you know, the whiteouts, they weren't having a real good game. They were real shaky. Came back, second game, amazing game. Chris Masco, Tommy Soria, Vaughn, you know, they're playing real good that game. How about the guys up front? Let's talk a little bit about those guys. Oh, yeah. Um, Matthew Evans is doing really good on those down blocks. Me and him, we've been working a lot lately on our pulls and all that. Me and Dylan, been, our combinations have been really great lately. That's been helping us out a lot with the run game. And we um, got a new person coming up. Nick DeAndre has been working really hard this week, trying to get some reps in for him today. And um, yeah. How about over on the defensive side of the ball? Talk about your role. On defense, we've been um, pretty dominant on the defensive line wise. Our linebacks are starting to come in more, um, but Mostly the defensive line have been really dominant lately. You know, I don't really know what else to say. You know, we've just been tearing it up lately. Uh, the backer stepped up and made some plays, but I think everybody got a little mix of everybody making some plays and, and you guys being one more touchdown better than Carbondale, but they were kind of a pesky team, a team that they were one play away here or there. Yeah, they they played a good game, not going to lie. Dominic Jigley, I think it was. He, he's a good linebacker. You know, his teammates, you know, they, they, they were good. You know, but you know, we just came out as the better team that day. Montrose is up. Uh, let's talk about the matchup and what you see on film for Montrose. Montrose, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a game. You know, just like any other. You know, they have a real good player, linebacker, 33, I think it is. He's real good. We watch him on film a lot. You know, focus on him a lot. And um, 77, he's been he's really good D lineman. So we just have to focus and work harder on that. King Shakim Rose from the. Old Forge Blue Devils here at our Carol and Janelle's in the pizza capital of the world.